welcome to this video, which is all about how to set up a scheduling app within inside PT Distinction. So you may use something like Calendly or Acuity, which a lot of people use, or you may use some other scheduling software. As long as your scheduling software has an external link that you can send to your clients in order to book in, then this will work with it. So I'm going to show you how to use Calendly and Acuity today. Now, when you're using scheduling software, there's probably two things you may want to use it for. One probably for your first consultation with the client, and the other one might be for regular, say, weekly or monthly consultations with your client, depending on which one you want to do. So I'm going to show you how to set these up and set it up the way I would do it to give you a lot more flexibility. So the first thing you probably need to do is set up a welcome group or something like that inside your uh, PTD. So I'm going to go to a welcome group that I've got set up already. Inside this welcome group, you'll have things like your park queue and all that kind of thing. And you'll also have your welcome email. Now, of course, you could just have this as a standalone group and have it as an extra email that goes out. So you can just add this group to your client and it will send out, hey, come and book in here. Doesn't matter which way you want to do it. For the sense of this video, I'm going to do it this way. So I'm just going to go to messaging. We're going to come down to our welcome email. Click edit. Now inside this email, I've already written it up, and you can see down here, I've put in big capital letters, click here to book in your first consultation. I like to do that because there's a lot of stuff going off in this welcome email normally. They have to log in, they have to go download their app. It's important that you get them to book in that consultation. So again, nice big capital letters that you want to be using so it stands out so they can see that they have to do something from this email. So then what we do is we head over to our scheduling software. That can be Calendly, which we've got here or we can go to Acuity, which we've got here. So when you get onto Acuity, you wanna come down to the scheduling page here. This is probably where you'll be when you first log on. You wanna to come to the scheduling page link here, and you want to basically copy this link. So we're gonna copy that. If you're using Calendly, you do exactly the same thing, but you come into the main page, you select the link that you want to send. So we've got premium here, we've got the done for you package, whichever one it is, you'll select that one and you'll send that link to them. So either or, no matter which one it is. So Acuity, you take this link here. And if it's on Calendly, you pick the one you want to do and you select that link to send to them. Head back over to PT Distinction and just highlight the text, drop down option, paste it in. And again, fill in the details here, I'd put in booking link or something inside here. Choose to go to another window, just so it makes it easy for them to come back to this email if they need to, and then click OK. Hit Save. And now when your client signs up to a program, uh, that email automatically gets sent out to them. And then they'll just click on it and book in for your program. When you're doing that, it's a good idea to make sure that it's linked in with your preloaded client accounts. If you're not sure how to do that, come and check out Module 4 of the Masterclasses, and I'll show you how to set all this up with your preloaded client accounts. So that's one way of doing it. That's to your first consultation. What if you want to do regular consultations with a client? So I would always do this as a second group, as an individual group. So you may not always want to give all your clients this option. You could do it as an upsell, as something extra for them to do. Um, or you might want to take it away from them at some point. Maybe they don't need it and they want a discount or something or whatever. So to do it this way gives you a lot more flexibility uh, and using something called group stacking, which Tim's talked about in one of his other videos. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to more. I'm going to select client and groups. And we're going to set up another group. So this is going to be our scheduling group. So I'm going to go to PTD groups, new PTD group. I'm just going to call this, uh, what should we call it? Scheduling, I think we'll do. Click create. And then we go into our new group. Now I prefer to do this on the in-app messages. So what I'm gonna do is go up to the messaging center once again. I'm gonna head over to the messenger. Now, depending whether you wanna do this monthly or weekly, depends how you set this up. I'm gonna do this weekly, so I'm gonna use a repeated one. If I want to do it monthly, I would need to use the scheduled one and set that up. So I'm gonna go for repeated. And let's say every Sunday, I wanna send them a in-app message that says it's time to book in your, your sorry, regular coaching call uh, for next week. So I'm gonna send that out every Sunday at let's say 9 a.m. in the morning. I can type in here, time 
to book your coaching call. And then all we do is again, come back to here, select the links you want to add in, or again in here, add in whatever link you want to add in. Just like so. Now, if you think that's too big and you want to shrink that down, you can always use a URL shortener. Again, just Google it and it will come up and you can shrink it down to a much smaller one if you want to put a bit more of a message in there. But generally speaking, that's all you need to do. What you do is set the days that it's actually going to go out for. So let's say we're going to send this out for the next, I don't know, 52 months. <laughs> Click save. And that'll just go out every single week to your client asking them to book in. And then you just need to add that to their account. So to do that, you can obviously just go back to the group. You can go to your members and add in any members you want to uh, have that scheduler go to. You can, of course, as well, go to your preloader client accounts. And you can actually add that group into your preloader client account. So when they sign up on your website, then they'll be able to automatically get added to that group in the first place. So again, that's pretty easy to do. Just find the scheduler, click add, and then save. Anyway, guys, I hope that makes sense. I hope that helps. Uh, and hopefully now you can actually go away and use this to scheduling your first consultation and your regular coaching calls with your clients. As always, if you've got any questions, you want to know anything about PT Distinction, you want to see ways of integrating or using different softwares with PT Distinction, feel free to comment below. Make sure as well that you like the YouTube page and subscribe to that. And as always, I'll see you very soon.